My name is James Ciappelloni. I'm an artist here in the Tenderloin. I ended up here because I was homeless, living under a freeway. The struggle for me down here to begin with was really hard. I mean, I've gotten fist fights, hit over the head. I've gotten guns pulled in me. I've gotten stabbed. Bring my little guy out. LG. But now I know a lot of people here. So I kind of grew into the neighborhood and uh, I find it, it inspires me to do my art. It does. And it also keeps me clean and sober. Instead of going out and buying a gram of Coke, I buy um, paints, brushes, canvas. Wildflowers Institute invests in the informal ways that things get done in the community. We have fellowship programs and we build maps and make uh, investments. And the new project is called the Hidden Gems Project. And what it does is it's, it's involved in mapping where the underground art scene is in the Tenderloin and also identifying what kinds of opportunities might there be in the community to best preserve uh, this art scene. We have trusted scouts that uh, go knocking door to door um, to each of the SRO buildings, the single room occupancy buildings. And I believe they've gone through 14 buildings and found 60 artists. Our work is to help them look for spaces that are unused and to see if there's some match between the artists and their needs and these unused spaces. I've been painting and living in this space for just over nine years. I think the reputation of the Tenderloin uh, versus its reality, maybe, maybe there is some fairness to, to its reputation, you know, that it's uh, not the most attractive district and there is a lot of people in the neighborhood that are homeless or they're transient, that kind of come and go. I love my life here, you know, I, I, I swim in the bay um, I can paint here, you know, I mean, it's um, the community and friendships I've developed over the years are here, and that's, that's what I love. Entering into the studio and living spaces of the artists is a real privilege for us. Uh, we feel invited into their, their worlds, and this is a part of our understanding of what really is a part of this creative culture. My name is Ira Watkins. I was born in Waco, Texas on the 12th of February, 1941. I've been involved in art uh, as a professional artist, I would say for 30 years, but I've been in doing drawings and paintings and everything as far as back as I can remember. The outcome of our project will help revitalize the community in, in that it will give a language and the identification of people and places that are vital to the creative culture of, of the Tenderloin. If we don't name the people, if we don't identify the art or the places, they're gonna leave and their art's gonna leave.